Hello and welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we are doing the mid-October love check-in for the sign of Cancer. And uh, we're going to get right into it, Cancers. Make sure that our deck is straight. Now, the mid-month love check-in is just to see where you're at. If you want to see the overall uh, monthly love forecast, then you can go ahead to the October love reading on my channel. It'll be linked in the description. All right, Cancers, let's get right into it. We're going to pull out your cards. We're going to do the Celtic Cross spread this month for the mid-month love check-in just to switch it up a bit. Cancer. Let's see what's going on with you this mid-month. We have Seven of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. And Eight of Cups. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck we have the Star. Right? Six, Seventeen. First seven being the chariot, to do with, of course, uh, manifesting our goals and our dreams, our wishes, right? Aquarius energy right there. So uh, let's get right into it. Cancer, at the center, we have, of course, we have conscious, sub subconscious, before and after. And we have the center card, which is, of course, the main energy for the mid-month and the cross energy. So the main energy right now, seven of swords, is a feeling of futility, right? feels like nothing's working. Everything you try, it just doesn't seem to work in your relationship. Communication seems to be really off. Um, seven of Swords is when you wish. Seven of Swords, Seven is the number for dreams and aspirations, right? But with Seven of Swords, we talk about someone who wants their dreams or wants to achieve their aspirations so badly, but they really don't want to wait for it. They don't want to do the real work for it. So what happens is, Everything that they do just seems really futile, you know, because it doesn't work. You know, this is the great tortoise in the hair story, right? This would be the hair here, right, this individual. Whereas the tortoise is plodding, methodically, taking their time and achieving the goal. So there's a lot of futility right now in your relationship. It just seems as though something is not going on right. Communication, it may be that you guys are at cross purposes, Right now, Four of Pentacles is covering this. And Four of Pentacles is a worry about money. All right. So for some of you cancers, right now, your issue is money. You're worried about it. Perhaps your stability is being threatened. Right. And so this energy is what's really crossing you now. Right. This feeling of not being able to do anything about it. Um... You know, it could be that you're with your partner and you're both right now having financial difficulties, right? Um, and for some reason, the conversation isn't working well to discuss it. It could be that your partner is unapproachable about the issue, right? It could be that um, right now you're just dealing with some financial issues, but it's having an impact on your love relationship because this is what's at the center and you may be arguing with your partner a little bit right now about bills and finances. Above, uh, on a conscious level, in your fore forefront of your mind, it's like you're being forced to be patient. You realize you have to wait. And some of that is what's causing this anxiety here. This, this uh, having to wait to make the next move is also what's causing a little bit of this feeling with the Seven of Swords, this feeling of wanting to hurry up haste haste but we know that that doesn't work you just simply have to be patient right now it could be that some of you are working on projects or areas in your career that right now are just stalled you know they're just stalled they're just on hold you have to take a look at the lay of the land you want to push forward so badly but unfortunately right now the situation calls for patience all right now in the back of your mind, you are thinking about three of pentacles. So you understand that really the only way to get through this is to continue to put your mind, body, and soul into your work, to continue to plod away, 
right? This is almost the opposite of the Seven of Swords. You know this. So I almost wonder if this is your partner resonating with this. Maybe they're the one. It's their finances that you're dealing with in a sense that where they're the ones who are kind of uh, being sloppy, cutting corners, and nothing seems to be working. Because for you, you know deep down inside, in the back of your mind, you know that it's all about the three. Three is bonding, loyalty, it's effort. It's also the number four, patience. We see that up here. We have two threes covering on top of each other. But here we're talking about uh, a patience and a loyalty to your craft putting everything into your craft and, and the support will come. The people will come. They will come to you for your skills because you are skilled. So I think for some of you cancers, you may be dealing with someone this month who is um, in your love life, who is just like, they may be a very materialistic person, right? They may be kind of asking you for a lot. Right? So what you're working for here, Cancer, is enough, right? You're happy. But your partner may be putting a lot of pressure on you to make more money, to achieve a particular goal quicker. It could be perhaps a promotion at work or something like that. But the pressure, I believe, is coming from your loved one, right? And the pressure is because the money that's there is not enough with that Four of Pentacles. Now, interestingly enough, you've just come out of this period of Ten of Cups with your partner. So everything is going very well in terms of the home life and the communication, the love. It was all very nice and tidy and complete and happy, right? But Tens, of course, are completions and they are starting uh, the next stage, right? So it seems to me that up until now, things probably were going quite well, but something has happened that's causing extra pressure. And what's happening this period now is that you're coming into an eight of cups, which means that you're having to tell your partner, look, there's certain boundaries I have. There's certain things that I require from you. One of them may be not to cause me a pain in the ass about this money. One of them may be to respect my craft because it seems to me that you're doing quite well down here with this three of pentacles. So it could very well be that you have to have this conversation with your partner because you want a deeper level of connection with them. And you don't want it to just be about the money or about the promotion or about the financial status, right? You want to feel comfortable that your partner is always going to be there and work closely with you. And you're realizing that A is the number for boundaries, strengths and weaknesses and so you're realizing hang on a second you know I, I can't you know what I mean I was happy here we were happy but now that we're getting into the serious stuff right now that we're getting into actually because oftentimes ten of cups represents the coming together you've come together you've tied the knot or you've made the commitment you now live together right and that's all been very happy and joyous but it's almost as if once this happened, all of this other shit started to happen. All of this money issue started to happen. They may be trying to control your finances as well. And you're realizing, hang on a second, I better put some boundaries in place or this situation is really going to get out of hand. This is not what I wanted. The springboard, the, the potential is there. But once you got into like actually your life together, the next stage, you're going to have to assert yourself. And let, and let your partner know what it is you require to have that deep, deep connection. Because right now, it seems certainly to be only about money, status. You know what I mean? It's, it's you know, so this is the center of the, of the middle of the month for you. I'm going to pull a couple more cards, Cancer. I want these mid-month love check-ins to be kind of short and sweet since the uh, the full month forecast is quite a long video. Yeah, it's interesting, Cancer, because, you know, Cancers, you guys really love to make the nest, the home, right? Um, and really, this, this love, I'm going to say this love connection is a really strong wish fulfillment for you over here with Star. I mean, this is, Star is all about achieving your ambitions in life, your wishes for yourself, right? And constantly sort of like pouring yourself into the achievement of that, right? And it could very well be that you know, you're happy with where you're at. You're happy with the, where you're moving in life, right? 
But you're almost being forced to be patient because of the person that you're dealing with because their antics and their behavior is just so out of pocket, right? And it's just not working. Unless you lose this relationship, you're going certainly with this eight of cups coming in, it's all about saying, look, you can't continue to give me this pressure over money. I'm trying to make the best home we can. I'm trying to make the best nest we can. And I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay with my goals, right? So don't project on me your own sort of dissatisfaction because that's really what I'm getting here. You could also be dealing with someone who's just like a greedy fucker. You know what I mean? With four of pentacles, this person could just be greedy as shit. And, you know, it's just like they want your money. They want you to do it their way, you know, but their way doesn't work. And so, of course, this is one of these people who wants their cake and eat it, too. But they never bake the fucking cake. You know what I mean? Everybody else is baking the cake and they're eating it. There you go. Six of two of swords. There's your star, and there's your emperor, all right? So there you go. Bottom of this deck, we have high priestess. So we're talking about intuitive feelings here. You know what's going on, Cancer. You know what's happening. You certainly know that right now, uh, let me move this down here. You certainly know that right now, uh, you need to trust your gut, right? Because you know what your person is doing. You know your partner's being uh, is 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 acting in a way. I'm gonna say trust your gut almost in this in the sense that with this over here, you know that this relationship, if it continues the way it is, is not going to be what you want, right? And your gut is telling you this here with the high priestess. Your gut is telling you that you have to, the star card has shown up twice. So although this relationship was a wish fulfillment for you. Your gut is telling you that now you're getting into the meat of this connection, there are things happening that are not in line with what you wanted. And you have to reassert your authority. Here's the emperor coming in. You need to reassert your authority in this relationship before this person drives you crazy with their antics. Up here we have six of swords. We're talking about being patient and wanting to stop arguing. Six of swords is all about Mercury and it's Mercury and Aquarius energy. It's talking about coming up with um, harmonious communication and solutions to ideas, right? Not arguing, figuring it out in a methodical, logical way, but not fighting and strife and arguing, right? The patience that you're exhibit exhibiting right now is in this way, right? This is what you want. You want tranquility with your person. They're almost, but I, I'm going to say that it may not, it may not come to pass necessarily unless you have that conversation. Down here, we're talking two of swords. So it's a feeling of having to choose, right? It's almost as though your person is giving you a choice, an ultimatum. They're saying, listen, either it's my way, do it, do what I say my way, you know, let me have control over your life, finances, ambition, or not at all. Two of Swords talks about an impossible choice, really. And the, tr and the truth of the matter is that with Two of Swords, really what we're seeking to do is find balance in a relationship or balance in a situation, not having to choose at all, right? But choosing to integrate. And like I said, this Ten of Cups was a wish fulfillment. This relationship was a wish fulfillment for you. But this mid-month love check-in, you definitely have to reassert yourself. Some of you may be dealing with an Aries. Aries and Cancer, it's hard to imagine. But again, remember, this is only sun signs. It's not the natal chart. And I really hesitate saying that. I only say Aries because Aries is the card for, is the sign uh, associated with the emperor. But let's, please don't forget... The astrological assignments put onto the tarot card are only a 20th century convention. This is not, astrology was not part of the original uh, creation methodology of the tarot. This is something that the esoteric community attached to tarot in the 1950s and 60s and 70s, right? So when we talk about true tarot, essential tarot, we need to forget about, sometimes we don't 
we don't need to assign the astro astrological components, right? Um, they've been assigned to help us better understand, but without a full natal chart of who you're dealing with, it's really a useless task, right? It's really, it's futile. It's a futile task. All right, guys? All right, so this is your reading. Take back control of the finances. Don't let somebody bully you in this relationship this month. You, Some of you may be dealing with somebody who's very money hungry, and certainly with this Eight of Cups, you need to definitely reassert your authority. All right, guys? I'm going to call it, try to make this short and sweet, 15 minutes. If you enjoyed this reading, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share. But for right now, Cancer, I'll catch you next month for the month November love forecast. Bye-bye now.